Hey guys, in this video lecture, we will allow the user to log in or authenticate via its email address registered with the site. In the previous video lecture, adding social authentication to Django, we have built the custom authentication backends here, that is in authentication backends in settings.py file, which includes a list of authentication backends for our project. Django provides a simple way to define our own authentication backends which provides two methods or the two functions. So the first one is the authenticate function which takes a user credentials that is the username or password as parameters and has to return true if user has been successfully authenticated or false otherwise. And the second function is the get underscore user function which takes a user id parameter and had to return, has to return a user object. Whenever you use authenticate function of Django contrib.auth, Django tries to authenticate the user against each of the backends defined in authentication underscore backends one by one. First, it will check for GitHub authentication, then Google authentication, then back model backend authentication for username and password. If we use email and password login functionality and we have to include the we have to create a new file called the authentication.py file which needs to be included in the authentication underscore backends so just create a new file inside the blog application here and say we, and let's name it authentication.py hit enter we'll need to import the user module so from right from django dot contrib dot auth dot models import user we'll create a class here let's name it email auth backend uh, which takes an object by default it is optional and here we will define the two functions which is the authenticate function which takes the self and the username and password as a user credentials as a parameter which is your username and let's say do it none and the password let's do it none as well and we'll provide a try catch accept uh, exception block try accept block here we'll uh, get the username value input value of the user name if we go to the browser here if we go to the login page uh, we try to this is the username field and this is the password field so we are getting the input value of the username field here so we'll get the user user here using user dot objects dot get and we'll match with email here and the username if we can see here inside the form.py file and in the user login form we do have the username here that username we are using here by get uh, for getting the value and assign it to the email so we are getting the email exactly email that is registered with the user object and here we also check the password for the input uh, when the site visitor input the password so we'll write if user dot check underscore password it's a built-in function here so we'll write password and we'll return user just simple we'll return user if the check password is if it will return true if the given string is the correct password for the user otherwise it will return none and in, in the accept clause we write if user or uh, we can say user dot does not exist exception just return none as well so our authenticate function is completed now we will uh, define a get underscore user function so we'll write get underscore user which takes a uh, user as a user id as a parameter so write user id and we'll re need to return simple just uh, in the try block we'll need to use the try accept block 
and just return user dot objects dot get and here we'll get the id using user underscore id parameter or we can be able to use pk here primary key which is the primary key it needs to be the primary key and uh, accept if user does not exist it will return user does not exist it's not exception it's exist it's not exception here as well it's exist it will return none so we are we have create, uh, successfully created the class and now include this class in, uh, in authentication backends and settings dot file in order to uh, use email authentication functionality so open up the settings dot file and include it here inside the authentication backends anywhere so right uh, blog inside the blog application we do have authentication file and in that authentication file we do have email email or the backend here is a class put comma at the end so we are done here if we go to the login page and refresh it if we try to log in the username uh, registered with us is the or uh, email id registered with us is the for super user is vishaygadgetgmail.com and the password is password same and if we try to log in voila we are now a logged in user just log out and check if uh, username is also working all right just appreciate and write password at the one two three log in and yes both are now working fine so as you can see here if we log in via email that we did earlier uh, it will look for authentication underscore backends and one by one so first it will check for github and no it is not the authentic OAuth application it is also not on OAuth application no it is not a model backend when we try to log in via email then it will check for email auth backend and now it gets the email auth backend and go to the class and uh, get the user and check with the email that we have provided in the input field user input field check the password it will return the user and get the user using user.object.cat so these two functions will this class will call after checking the authentication backend so hit the submit button so we are all good here please do subscribe my channel if you like my videos and share my videos more and more so see you in the next video lecture guys